I don't know what this is and I don't know what it means yeah. to me practically. Should I care about it? Is it, yeah. um, you know, is it something that's like a niche thing? Like, oh, well, I'm not planning on going into mining. So it doesn't, you know, like doesn't really impact me. Or how much would it be expected to impact an average accountant's life in the future? So is it something that's like a bit of a niche or is it something that's like, it's going to be everywhere? It's a massive opportunity for for young people to make sure that they come out of university with a really good grounding in this stuff. Yeah, because right. when they get into the working world, they're going to discover that the guys who've been around for a while are still trying to get to grips with it. Um, and yeah. they'll and they'll start looking to them. Plus, it's just a really in, like it's an interesting area. It's an area where you can feel like your work is meaningful and mm. it's contributing to something bigger. It's not just about some new disclosures. This is about mm. the way businesses operate. So, mm. you know, it affects, and that's what we're learning in our work is that it affects all the all the subjects. It's got, you know, financial accounting implications. So it'll probably need to be a part of that because it's very connected to finances. Like we actually, we describe it as um, sustainability related financial disclosures. Mm. That's mm. IFRS foundation language mm. um, because it's, it's, about how these things affect the business, but then it also affects management accounting, for mm. example. So it should be this type of information should be part of what management receives from the accountants to help them in their decision making on a day to day basis. It affects like financial management type stuff around you know invest investment decisions, mm. and that kind mm. of thing. You know, it it can affect tax in terms of carbon credits and things like that. Mm. That's a little more minor. Obviously, it affects audit. There's an entire standard that's been developed mm. on sustainability assurance. Yeah. So, you know, and you can carry on through that. Like if you talk about business strategy, business models, like that you're supposed to learn in your in your mm. training, it's a key part of that. Um, so there's, it just cuts across everything. A student who is willing to go deeper into an aspect of sustainability is going to have an advantage. So if there's mm. a particular area they're interested, if they're interested in social issues, human rights, for example, or if they're interested in biodiversity or climate change or mm. like you name it, it will help to have something extra because how far the actual core, you know, CA curriculum in South yeah. Africa would, yeah. would change, I don't know, yeah. but yeah. Um, but anything that they can do to kind of get more knowledge, mm. it's going to mm. only set them apart. So this is an opportunity.